Good morning. This is the first course in ICEM Hexa. ICEM is a pre-processing software for CFD analysis from ANSYS. It's one of the most powerful pre-processing softwares out there in the market today. Being powerful, it's also very difficult to learn on, on your own. Uh, its difficulty stems from the fact that it, it, it takes a different approach to meshing. And uh, the, the, the motive of this course is to train the student into an, and the, a new user in, in a much more efficient way of tackling complex geometries using ICEM hexa. Please note that the course concerns only with the hexahedral aspect of meshing using ICM. The tetrahedral mesh, which is much more easier to learn, won't be covered in this course. My name is Vishal Anand and at the time of making of this video, I am a PhD student at Purdue University in the US. My expectations from the student is that they should learn the modules sequentially. They should not skip the modules as in you should first start with the first module, module 1 and then go on to module 2, module 3 and so on. Please do not skip the modules. And also there has been a presentation uploaded in the description part of this video. The presentation explains in detail the various options available in the ICM CFD GUI. So you should read the presentation in tandem with the video lectures. The video lectures will solve certain geometries as an example for you and that's how they will teach you how to do the meshing. But we are in module 4, uh, which, which, it, which tackles industrial geometries. When I say industrial geometries, I mean the geometries which are used in the industry and thus they are much more complex than any of the geometries, the simplified geometries which we tackled in this course till now. So this module is much, uh, is the most sophisticated part of this course. And it will, it will, uh, uh, this module will take into account all the concepts which we have learned so far and also introduce some more advanced concepts like collapse blocks, uh, like uh, merge blocks and like uh, most importantly copy or rotate blocks. So the first geometry in this module is that of engine exhaust pipe. So uh, the geometry looks something like this. As we can see, uh, uh, the geometry has a curved part here, uh, which is uh, which which looks like a ring, and it it uh, appears that we should use extrusion to capture the curvature here, and it has a series of cylinders of different radii. So we know we have already tackled a series of cylinders of different radii. Uh, but the problem seems here a little bit more uh, complex because you see the uh, the radii of the cylinder. Uh, if you start from this end, the radii, uh, radius decreases and then decreases, decreases, and then it comes to this radius. And then again, it begins to increase. So there is uh, no, no, uh, uh, no constant increase or decrease in the radii of the cylinder, which makes a task a little tough. Uh, in the previous examples, we saw that uh, there was a uh, increase or decrease in the radii of the cylinders, which allowed us to capture the cylinder through O grid. So here, uh, the, we will still use O grid, but we will use a more sophisticated technique called copying blocks to improve the uh, to help us tackle this geometry because of the uh, variability in the geometry, the in the decrease and increase in the uh, radii of the cylinder uh, abruptly. So let's go on to the ICEM GUI now.
so we uh, we have uh, finished our extrusion we will say reset set done so this is what our blocking looks like right now the main block to cover these three cylinders and then our outer o grid to cover the larger cylinder i mean this o grid will cover the larger cylinder and then this o grid will cover the smaller cylinder and the innermost o grid is only to capture the curvature to improve the quality so uh, before uh, we go any further we see that uh, th this geometry from this this blue curve to uh, this uh, black edge is uh, symmetric about this center line so we can just uh, mirror the uh, blocking about this center point and it will uh, so we we need not do any special blocking for this this portion we can just copy the blocking to this part and it will help make things easier for us so this tutorial will teach you how to copy the block and before we go on to copying please note that we have not made any association uh, because if we do copying the association does not get uh, updated the associate the new block would associate to the old geometry itself which will be a little bit of a hassle for 